Permanently single means I am the designated wingman. Oh no. I, I mean, it's fun though, you know? There's a lot less stress on me because like, you know, my friend be like, hey man, you see that girl over there? I'm like, who, her? And he goes, no, 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 don't go talk to her. I'm like, hey, 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 you, having a good day? How about, like, have you met Sean? <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome to Situations Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Michael Williams, aka Shawnee Do. Do you call me Sean? Shawnee, Shawnee Do? Does not matter to me. I'm just glad that y'all are here. And I got a little special guest here. Who is this dude? Like this really handsome, jolly good fella. <laughs> like this guy, like, uh, he is just like such a like such like such a wonderful dude, man. Like, I really appreciate this guy being here. Who is this wonderful guest? Well, I'm gonna tell y'all in that in a in a real hot sec. But first, I gotta do some little housekeeping. So I wanna thank you all for you know tuning into the podcast. This is episode 23, the Jordan episode. 23 Jordan! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, man, I, like you know, I made it past I made it to the 23 episodes, man. Like, come on. Congratulations. Like, That's thank awesome. You. Thank you, thank you. And, you know, um, I can't do it without you listeners. So I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in whenever you share and, you know, you submit your stories, submit all your stories to situationspodcast.com slash submit. And yeah, we unpack it here on the show. And so, yeah, this show runs on you all. You all are what makes this show happen. And I just want to say, you know, that you all know the format of this podcast. If you're new to tuning in, this podcast is about dating relationships. Mental and emotional life experiences. Ooh, fucking we. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, what don't you talk about? <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and so today we're going to be talking about, you know, living and dating in the city. And then, you know, like, uh, as well as dating on the apps and kind of just, yeah, you know, relationships and just dating as a whole. Like, that shit's complicated, ain't it? It is complicated. It very complicated. Wow, I can't even talk already. <laughs> no, yeah, it's complicated, especially in like today's modern age. It's like you got games on your phone. Yeah, Tinder, Hit, Hinge, yeah. Bumble, all those other things. You know, it's just, it's hard. It is, it's hard man. Out there. It really is. <laughs> and, you know, uh, we got a listener submission uh, that's going to be talking about you know, uh, about certain men on dating apps, like that's giving off like toxic vibes and like this toxic male masculinity and misogynistic vibes. So that's a big ick. Yeah, yeah I would say that's the ick. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. We're going to solve dating by the end of this episode. All right, cool. Hey, I mean, two minds, one goal. We got it. Exactly. <laughs> two great guys. <laughs> and so we also have a few hinge or unhinged dating app prompts. You know, so yeah, man, like with people, listeners, they submit screenshots of like the unhinged prompts that they see on Hinge uh -huh. and they send it in and then we we like, uh, we unpack it on the show and or we unpack it on the Instagram page. We tell listeners or the people that follow the page, is uh -huh. this Hinge or unhinged? Okay. So I like that. We're going right. to be unpacking that right here on the show. There, I have seen some good, some bad and some wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, without further ado, this wonderful guest right here, John O'Brien. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're such a wonderful friend. And, like, you know, every time I talk with you, I always leave with a smile. So, I, I you said, hey, come on my podcast. I'm like, all right, you know what? I have to do this for my boy. Yes. <laughs> Dude, like, right here, man. Mm. Yes. I appreciate it, man. I really do. And, you know, John and I, like, we go we, we go back a couple years now at yeah. this point. Or almost a few years. Yeah, a few years, a few I want to say. Now, yeah. Yeah. Like at least four. Yeah, no, three. Yeah. Yeah, three years. Exactly. And it was, uh, what? It was, was it Young Frankenstein, right? Young Frankenstein. Yep. It was Young Frankenstein. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Theater on the Hill. Exactly. Shout out Theater on the Hill. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, 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 I'm so grateful for that show because I, yeah, man, I like the friendship that we've established like th these last few years, man, I'm so grateful for it. And just doing like rent and doing, you know, like uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast, Beauty man. And the Beast. Yeah, we went from rent right into <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. We, we saw each other go from really, really sad to 
Disney. Exactly, <laughs> right? It went from emotional to Disney. <laughs> exactly. Liter- literal Collins to Lumiere. <laughs> right? <laughs> Collinaire. Col- Collinaire. What, what, would I be a Bennysworth? <laughs> Bennysworth, exactly. Collinaire and Bennysworth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, John, you want to, like, tell, like, the audience a little bit about you, like, like because you're an actor, you know, like, you sure. do so many things in your life. Tell us all about you. Uh, So, I'm, uh, I'm 27. I just moved to the city about four months ago. Um, I grew up in Bolingbrook, but I also went to school in the city. So, I went to um, a Catholic school, a charter school, and then I went to uh, Bolingbrook High School in the suburbs. So, other than that, uh, I went to NIU for college. I studied with a BFA in uh, acting. Yeah. Uh, did a lot, did a lot. I went uh, abroad for three months in uh, Moscow, Russia. Wow, yeah. Russia. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go all the way the fuck off. I was on the. <laughs> other side of the planet <laughs> oddly <laughs> yeah. enough chicago is still colder than russia i was walking Damn. around without a coat and they're like what is happening I'm like, this is nothing um <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than that um yeah theater on the hill acting uh starting to do a little bit more uh stand up uh starting to take some classes at second city uh just kind of ready to ex- explore because like we were doing rent and then we were doing beauty and the beast so i didn't have a lot of time to like explore but like Mm -hmm. uh i'm in like the logan square area so like that's such a great spot close to wicker park kind of like everywhere so like i'm ready to find find fun things to do meet new people you know wonderful date (laughs) yes yes exactly i feel you i definitely feel you dude that is just so amazing man like you are killing it you are living your best life and i'm just proud of you man like thank you sean i'm I am likewise just as proud as you, proud of you as you are of me. Thanks, bro. <laughs> ah, means the world. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, so I guess kind of like getting started with things. Do you want to kind of tell us like what's your current like uh, dating situation? Are you single? Are you in a relationship? Is there like a special somebody? Like what's going on? Uh, right now I'm single. Uh, I'm on the apps. Yeah. I'm on the apps. Um. You know, it's weird. Like, uh, my friends, they're joking with me. They're like, you're going on a dating podcast? I'm like, yeah. Like, Aren't you, like, permanently single? I was like, yeah. I'm out of my hermit mode. I'm breaking out. I'm trying to, like, I'm in the city now. Now it's time to start, like, dating, finding out who I am, doing that whole self-love journey. Yeah. It's like, I mean, hell, I was living with my mom. Time to get out, leave the nest a little later. But, you know. Yeah. Everyone has their own journey, you know? Absolutely, man. And and so, like, tell me more about permanently single. What is that? (laughs) Uh, Permanently single means I am the designated wingman. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) I I mean, it's fun, though, you know? it's There's a lot less stress on me because, like, you know, my friend would be like, hey, man, you see that girl over there? I'm like, who? Her? And he goes, no, 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 don't go talk to her. I'm like, hey, 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 you. Having a good day? How about like, have you met Sean? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! no so so like, you're that guy. I'm that like... guy. I, I'm, I'm the uh, I'm the dad of the group. I'm the homie of the group. I just like to I just like to have fun. Yeah. You know? I, it's it's when you I realize it's whenever like you or like your friends you go out and you have like that agenda of like oh I'm gonna meet somebody. Yeah. You never meet anybody. Uh. <laughs> you know, well, it's because like you get in your head mm-hmm. and it's like, you can't think like you overthink. And then you're like, you're stumbling over your words. You're like, okay, crap, Pe- beautiful girl. What's your favorite color? Like, <laughs> like I don't, I don't fucking know. Like, that's how. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, oh no, no, you can swear, man. Like, oh, like, like oh. I'd be offended if you did not swear. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, cool. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. So it's just like, I don't know. Everything gets gets heavy. <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel you. It's not easy out here dating, man, mm-hmm. because you never know what's on on the other person's mind, and it's like I'm trying to like you know see what this person's about, mm-hmm. and I can't really. I can't really see like what their energy like like I can't really see what they're like the energy they're putting off if that makes sense right or it's like is is this the energy that is like genuine energy or mm-hmm. are they like, putting on like this is my uh, uh, masks like people yes. wear masks like is this your dating mask is this mm-hmm. what you're 
what you're putting out. It's like, no, I want to know what's behind the mask, you know? Absolutely. What's that one episode of SpongeBob? He puts on airs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I yes. always think about that whenever someone's like, like, like being fake or whatever, or, yeah. or just mm-hmm. like, you know, putting on a facade. Instead of saying put on a facade, puts on airs. Puts on airs. <laughs> well, I, oh my God, you said SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I I feel like I, I hope after like this episode, I feel a type of energy in the universe that somewhere along the way you're gonna find your person, man. I think it's gonna happen. You I heard know. it here, folks. You, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe the uh, permanently single will be over. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Am I like? I, and then after that. I'm gonna have to like rename this episode not permanently not, single. Not permanently single. Yeah, <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, so you know, congratulations on your recent move from the burbs to the city. And so, like, you know, coming from like uh like the suburbs, uh, uh you wanna do is it was it Bolingbrook? Yeah, were? I okay. grew up in Bolingbrook. Okay. Um, it was I mean it was weird because like I went to I went to school in the city as a kid, so like I'd come home, I would do sports and have friends at, in the suburbs. So it was like, oh, I was always the city kid. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, I, I live here. And they're like, no, you go to the school in the city, you don't go to school with us. And so there was always that distance, but like I would still do all the same same stuff, like go sledding in the winter, I always have friends over. Like being, I'm an only child, so ah. I, I, I was like, man, so it's like single mom just me in the house. My mom worked all the time. She's a nurse. So I was like, I always had people over just playing video games, just all the suburb, suburban stuff, right? Riding your bike to Seven Eleven when you're not supposed to. <laughs> yeah. When those street lights come on, run into the house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty nice. All right. All yeah. right. And, um, you know, like, and I guess even like growing up, how often would you go from the suburbs into the, like the city? Like just like, even if you're just hanging out with friends. Oh, um, I mean, it was almost like every, well, because I went to school every day. Yeah. But I think I'd be in the suburbs on the weekends because like I would do sports. So I'd played baseball, basketball, football. Um, I tried soccer, didn't like soccer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard sport. It, I, I didn't is, like it either. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no hate on soccer. That's yeah. a, that's a wonderful sport. Right. But I just couldn't get it. I don't have that hand eye coordination. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I primarily do sports on the weekends and, uh, play video games a lot. I mean, yeah. everyone plays like call of duty, mm-hmm. uh, smash bros, yeah. uh, Mario Kart. <laughs> all that all that stuff or like once we all got our like driver's licenses driving around parking our car at Wal- like walmart and that's when walmart was like <laughs> yeah. 24 hours you can go in there at 4 a.m and you're like see the strangest walks of life and you're like wait a second i'm 16 i shouldn't be out at 4 a.m but you know what that's life <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of video games, it's like like they've they, I heard that they're like about to release GTA. What is it? Six, six, yeah, yeah. GTA six. <laughs> and I heard it's like a, a spin on Florida. Oh which, shit! Like I'm like okay. You're going to try to spin anything off Florida? Florida right. is crazy. <laughs> exactly, right? Oh my god! When are they going to make a GTA Chicago? <laughs> Who knows? That would be <laughs> that would be so cool. It would. Well, it's like when uh Batman, or The Dark Knight, or That's like right. or like Batman Begins was shot in Chicago. Or like Chicago's Gotham. Like you gotta get, admit, Chicago's Gotham. Exactly. Like, Our production assistant Harley just hopped up on the couch. Uh, you probably can't see her in the camera. Who knows? But if you're listening, yeah, Miss Harley, our production assistant, is on the couch. <laughs> Did I say the wrong thing, Harley? <laughs> 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 Batman's copyrighted. Don't talk about that. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, so um, you know, what's the city life for you? Is in the and even just in Logan Square or even like wherever you're hanging out in the city, like what is it like for you and are you enjoying it so far? I mean, you've already you're already used to the city anyway. Yeah. I, growing <laughs> up in the city, like I it's it's nice coming back, moving back as an adult, I'm like, I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. I know, I know the train system. Uh, I know the great areas, but like as a kid, I was like, Oh yeah. Okay. I know where the park is. I know where the beach is. But now I'm like, where are like the bars, the clubs, the, the comedy clubs, the, the theaters, like all the open stuff. So like, it's more or less, I'm, I'm really excited to dive into like the art of the city. 
Yeah. And like the beauty of the city. Cause like, you know, like there's art everywhere. Like even like just walking down the street, you'll hear someone playing like the drums or whatever. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. It always reaches to my heart. Cause I'm like artist to artist. I gotta, like, you gotta give them a few bucks. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah. So like exploring, looking, looking for art, look like also food. Are you kidding me, man? Yes. Oh. I'm a foodie too, man. I, there's a place called uh devil dogs in the city. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I've heard of that place. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Every time I come to the city, I have to go to either Devil Dogs or the uh the Wiener Circle. Yeah. On the north side. <laughs> hey, I mean, like they 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 purposefully insult you when you walk in, but you're like, I don't care. You have you have like a oh, great hot dog. And they're open <laughs> to like two AM. So <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's all the worth it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally, totally. <laughs> love that and then for those of you that are like listening yeah we're, we're talking about chicago yes, guys chicago, like chicago chicago time <laughs> yes yeah, so come on into chicago <laughs> that's all of our suburban friends who are like oh no come out to the suburbs no come to the city yes that's, that's like we'll find you parking don't worry <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> we can uber we can walk I, that's another thing in the city i've, I've realized we walk everywhere yes it doesn't matter how far it's like Oh, 30 minute walk. All right. No problem. Right. Is it raining? All right. All right. Well, I guess I have an umbrella. We'll still walk or we'll Uber. <laughs> exactly. And you know what I really don't understand is why is it that like Chicago, like people that live in the city are more willing to like drive out to the burbs, but people who live in the burbs are less likely to want to drive into the city. Well, it's well, <laughs> it's because driving in the city is way different than driving in the suburbs you have to drive so like defensive uh defensively out in the suburbs and in the city you're driving offensively you got to like really like shoot the gap yeah get to where you need to go fast pace like car accidents every other street <laughs> <laughs> or like you're like oh crap am i speeding or did i just go through that red light and it's like yep yeah, now you have four more tickets <laughs> right <laughs> but i think i think it's like the sense of suburbs are like oh no we can just find uh a restaurant to go to or a bowling alley it's like no come up here and we can explore we can walk around we can do all of those things mm -hmm. in maybe like five blocks exactly exactly man it's 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 you know and i think one thing too the like, I, I hear so many complaints about the streets in chicago especially the north side being so narrow yeah like and of course, if you're on the south side or if you're in the suburbs, you're, mm -hmm. people are used to like those like, you know, three, four lane streets. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then it's like we're like, oh, wait, I'm there's a bus to my right. There's construction <laughs> to my left and the roads closed ahead. Right. Exactly. <laughs> where, where do I go? <laughs> Keep going straight. <laughs> and then there's like the occasional biker cutting through traffic oh, as gosh. like <laughs> yeah. biker motorcycle. There's like there's there's no laws on when you're on two wheels. <laughs> right. <laughs> Navigating city traffic, that's unhinged. A very unhinged. <laughs> Stoplights, no, those are suggestions. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so I, I guess you know, like, like, so, like, some of your favorite things to do in the city. So, you, like, you mentioned, like, like, uh, devil dogs, and like, in, in some of like, like the like the other th th art artsy things. Is that mm -hmm. kind of like your favorite things to do, or you have like a really favorite top tier thing mm. that's like, this is my thing? Oh, this is my thing. What is my thing? That's a well. That's a part of moving up to the city now. Is I'm re, I'm kind of rediscovering my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I've I've always grown up with with art. Like I go to the art institute or go into like the museums, uh, the aquarium, planetarium. I love that area. I definitely want to go uh, get into more um, sports. Like yeah, I, I've I've always gone to Cubs games. I've never been to like a Blackhawks or a Bulls game. Uh, mm -hmm. Like. Uh, seeing live live music, I love going to concerts. Yeah. I just went to a, a Doja, the Doja Cat co concert at the United Center. Oh shit, you was there? I was there. How was that? You really want to know? I do. It was awesome, but let me preface: there's a I, but. Oh no! <laughs> I went with my two best friends. Uh huh. But the the ticket that I got wasn't sit, seated with them. Oh no! <laughs> so I was by myself. I was like, "All right, how's this gonna work?" Like, <laughs> like, I mean, I've gone to, like to a movie by myself or sometimes, but I was like a concert. Yeah, and I was like, I don't care, I don't care. This is gonna be fun, and you just kind of just like lose yourself in the music and like you talk to people around you or whatever, like. I don't know the bass drops. You see someone walk, look past you, like yeah, and you're like yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. That's just the type of person I've always been. But other yeah. than that, Doja Cat concert was great. Like I, like, like I said, music is one of the things that I always do. 
my thing is I, I, I love listening to music. Mm-hmm. Everywhere I go, I either have like an AirPod in, my headset on, or like if I'm at home, I'm like bugging my roommates playing music all the yeah. time. But no, I always get the, what song was that? <laughs> Can you, let's make our Spotify uh, mix, mix a, was it a playlist? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I don't know. I got lost off, <laughs> lost, lost off, off topic. But uh, yeah, Doja Cat was great. Music. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I, like I, that that is just amazing that you are having fun. You're just doing you in the city, man. Like that's ah, commendable. That, that that's the goal for 2024. Right. Is to just kind of do me, kind of figure out what I want to do. Like I said, dabble in stand up, try to audition for some shows out here. Like um re uh like get some, make some great connections. Mhm. See more shows uh Go more, go, just go out more. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you're doing like some second city stuff too. So yeah. yeah. On the rise. Okay. (laughs) Knock on wood. Knock on wood. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, that's awesome. Well, I hope I get this. I get to catch you in a second city show, man. I hope so. That would be awesome. Yeah. I'd be like, I knew, I know him. I knew, we, 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 I'll be like, we knew you win. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be on stage going, I know him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are my friends. Hi, guys. Oh, wait, Hi, I'm doing a thing up here. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, have I, I guess kind of like, you know, kind of going back to like dating and everything. So yeah. have you ever dated somebody in the same show that you were doing like, like, like in the past or like, uh, See, like, with with shows and stuff, uh, because of, like, my training in school, I always, I always kind of, like, take it, like, as a second job. Mm-hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, it's always fun and games, but also I'm like, okay, hold on, I gotta take a step out, become this, uh, become this other person. Right, put, right, exactly. Put on, put on my mask of here to work, write down my notes. Yeah. But, of course, you know, as you know, I goof around every once in a while, mm-hmm. make yeah. a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but dating uh, in shows, I mean, sometimes I feel like it gets like it gets really messy sometimes. Yeah, especially like like it's a scene partner or like mm-hmm. I don't know, like you don't. The theater is such a vulnerable space. Mm-hmm. You go out there, you kind of show like your your authentic, vulnerable self, trying to portray this story, and like of course, like you're being real deep with somebody. You're going to build that connection. Yeah. But is that connection from the show ah. or is that connection from outside of the show? Is that just your personalities or like you're just really getting into character? Right. <laughs> yeah. Know? And so it's like, that's the thing that I, I've always had the issue with is like, is this a thing? Is this a thing? <laughs> mm, I don't think so. Then like we get out of the show and we're like, yeah, no, it was just, it was just on stage chemistry. Yeah. After that, we're kind of like, yeah, no, we're just buds. <laughs> <laughs> Showmance, yeah. Showman, uh, showmances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, and like even I was having like a conversation about this, you know, with Antonio, like like our friend Antonio. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you know, in the previous episode, for those of you that are listening, um, you know, we were kind of talking about like, have you ever dated somebody in a show? He was like, yeah, like he prefers that, and I was like prefers yeah hmm. interesting right he's, exactly. he's using theater kind of like a dating app <laughs> exactly exactly we love you antonio we love you antonio that is no shade whatsoever no shade at all like you do you my friend right but it but it seems like you know he's he's finding so much like success in it though like in and um like the fact that it's working for him like hey mm. like hats off to you man no totally it's, um it's yeah. like like we said, it's rough out there, and the thing, the best part about theater is you spend maybe two or three hours with pe- like a like minded group of people for what, what like four months, five months, and it's like, of course, you're going to build some connections. Yeah, and it's like, can that connection turn into something? Of course, and if it's look working for him, that's wonderful. Right, I'm just like, wow, dude. Like, I want to take notes, but at the same time, I just want like, like, I feel like he's probably like one of the lucky people where it's like he can have a showmance, and it's less likely that there'll be any drama after. Like, I guess yeah. I don't know in the show. <laughs> I feel that one. versus like if I did it or if you or somebody else. I don't know. I just feel like he's just a lucky man. Yeah, he's just he's just one of those guys. He's just one of those. Well, he's he's Gaston, right? Exactly, <laughs> Gaston. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My, what a guy that guest on. Oh, that show, it wasn't typecasted at all. Right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) 
No, he was. He's always such a genuine person. I think, he that, is. and that that doesn't surprise me that things are working out for him that way. It's because like he, not just to talk about Antonio. We can talk about Antonio for a whole other right. hour. This is the Antonio this show. This is now. now the Antonio <laughs> show. Uh, no, he's just a really nice guy. He really like. We didn't have any like real scenes together, but like you'd come off stage and he'd be like, "That was great," and you're like, "Really? You were watching me? Oh, thanks, man." Oh, and yeah. you know it's genuine, so it's like, damn solid guy exactly yeah it's all love with him like oh, totally and i think that's another reason why i think you know it, it works for him because he is like a very personable guy like mm-hmm. a big personality oh totally. um but yeah but i guess kind of like you know like circling back because like i know like in my own case um mm-hmm. i typically you know don't date people in the show only because it's like i'm afraid of like like any drama the like drama i like I, well i like like this person first or i like sean first or this and that and i'm oh, like oh dude yeah it's, it's the he said she said they said uh or like um if you ever ask this person out that person has already had a five group chat conversations about maybe this person's gonna ask me out exactly or it's <laughs> like did you hear sean ask so-and-so out right what yeah, you don't know the tea. Like, there's always tea. It's there's like always tea. There's always can't tea. have theater without drama. No, 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 no. <laughs> on and off stage drama. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you know, and and I think just even like in our show, um, you know, and we won't even like we won't even like name a show. We're like we'll just keep it very just broad in general. Broad in general. Cool. But you know. There is a production that you and I uh, both, you know, know or maybe was a part of where everybody was dating everybody in that show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was just like, who's with who now? (laughs) Right. Last week they were with that. Them. No. But now, whatever. Exactly. (laughs) As long as we go on stage and do our part. That's on them. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hypothetically, of course. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Right, right, right this all happened. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is all hypothetical. Right. Exactly. <laughs> all content. All, all good content. <laughs> exactly. Like, uh, the listeners, like, they're they're getting they're getting so much, like, you know, what do you call it? Entertainment and tea all at once. Yeah. No, they're like, oh, my God. This is too much. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, hey, it's, uh, it's the Jordan episode. So, get ready. This is all the tea. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Jordan episode. Wait, I Gotta cure the air horn. Nice. Jordan episode. Jordan episode. Big two, three. <laughs> Congratulations again, man. Like this podcast. Thank you. Um, like I for my job, my current job, I used to drive a lot. Like I would drive probably about like an hour, an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, hey, I'm doing this podcast. And I started listening to it and I was like, wow. And I felt like I'm going to learn a lot more about my friend Sean. <laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> or like, I, I caught myself like laughing or like trying to like respond to things like in the car. I'm like, wait, he's not actually here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Dude. Of course. Man. <laughs> and, and like, not like people like myself are listening in and I'm like, wow, like this is actually like real stuff. This is like, this is what's happening. It's not like, uh, what's it called? Like social media bombing of different, like, well, yeah, we talk about apps, but it's like, no, these are our success stories. No, we're talking about like what it is. What is yes. the situation? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because we're all out here in the trenches trying to, you know, climb our way through to like find yes. our connection. Exactly. <laughs> hey, we come out a little muddy, but we're still, we still got that drip. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yes. Oh, Dude, that was an alley oop, man. Like, Thank dude, you. that was <laughs> that was off that was off the dome. I didn't, I didn't, that was not scripted, right? <laughs> Perfect alley oop for the Jordan episode. <laughs> hey, we got our uh, Michael Jordan over here, Scotty Pippen. <laughs> yes, the dream team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, like, what was it like? Uh, I guess you know, like going on dates or date activities in the suburbs when we, we, we was living out there versus yeah. now going on dates or doing date, date activities in the city. Okay, so like in the suburbs, there's always like, oh, let's go to um, what's it called uh, uh, Wilderness Falls. It's like the putt putt. You go to the batting cages. Mm-hmm. You go see a movie. I'm like, you can do the same stuff in the city, but it seems like the city. You go, hey, I know this cool bar, or like I know this cool restaurant, or it's always more of a a bigger experience. It's like I could go to Applebee's, or I can go to Furious Spoon, which is a shout out to this wonderful ramen restaurant that i've been to it's so good yeah but like that's the thing there's so many different types of foods to go see or like uh shows to go see uh 
Yeah, different activities to do. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Uh, there. I want to do an escape room out Ooh, here. Or like, yeah. I, like, I haven't done one, but I did like I did like a like a fake one, uh, like a haunted house, uh-huh. and I was like, this is cool, but I want to like actually go and experience it. Yeah. So like dating wise, I'm like I don't know, I'm down for anything at this point. <laughs> like, <laughs> like not not down bad for anything, but <laughs> I mean, right. I'm down to, for any activity because like you know experiences are experiences happen. Absolutely, man. Yeah, you know I I love escape rooms, man. Like like they're they're so much fun, and. You know, sh- you know, shit. We may need to get like like the guys together to do like an escape room, dude. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> we may well, need to like pregame too. Well, like, oh my god! Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. And we'll be in there like, they're tr- you guys are trying to do a puzzle. You're like, where's John? I'm still reading the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, you guys goodness. are in like room two. I'm like, wait, did you guys find the key? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my god that's hilarious dude no, that'd be so much fun like <laughs> mm. absolutely man oh we got to make it happen it like you know and i probably do maybe a escape rooms maybe like once a year like i did one this past weekend uh with someone like someone that i'm you know like hanging out with mm-hmm. and uh yeah you know it was so much fun like we beat the escape room with like 13 minutes to spare wow and turns out we uh we set the record for that particular for that individual oh, room yeah. nice at, and we did it at the escape room chicago uh downtown okay yeah so cool. escape room chicago sponsor situations podcast <laughs> please do <laughs> right <laughs> oh, yeah, they write that down chicago escape room cool. exactly exactly <laughs> yeah and so um as and as far as like even like work and everything like that you do for like your job and everything mm-hmm. are you able to like find like a good work-life balance uh, with everything that you that you got going on in your life oh it's tough it's tough uh i i had just well currently i'm working at a uh retirement home as an activity director so it's like life enrichment we do like bingo but like we also do uh recreational therapy fun like just i mean we're kind of like the social life of yeah um, <laughs> uh, the, the retirement home we're like the, the camp counselors as one of my uh, <laughs> bosses say they're like you're just a camp counselor and it's like yeah because oh i gonna walk in and be like hey everybody how are you doing <laughs> um but so it's like having that high stakes of like making sure like other people's loved ones are taken care of and then trying to find time for myself. I was just so burnt out. Yeah. That's um, a lot. It is a lot. Cause like, I mean like older, like I love old, older people and it's like, they have so many different experiences. You listen to a lot, but like, you're also like, I have to be present for everything. Yeah. So it's like, I need that like five, five hours of turn all the lights off, listen to music and just kind of, <laughs> peace out like i i love to sleep <laughs> yeah same like i had went to a party uh recently uh, uh oh no wait it, was it a party was it a, it was like a, a party or like a friends giving one of the two i can't remember but one of our mutual friends had told someone that later told me that it was like, yeah, well, like Sean, he he looked like shit at the at the party, like like just tired. Tired. Oh, <laughs> that, see, that's the thing. Like, oh, I hate when people say that. They're like, oh, you look rough, and it's like you're lucky I'm even here. <laughs> right? Are you kidding me? Like my my social anxiety bat or like my social battery is like tapped out, and you're like, come out. I'm like, fuck. All right. Right. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> But if you say I look rough, I'm going right back home. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I was like, wow. Well, I mean, I can't even be mad at that because, oh, my God, like, I did look rough. I had, like, bags under my eyes. I feel like the bags are still there. I'm, I I need to get, like, one of those, like, face mask oh, things. Yes, to- the self-care <laughs> face mask, like the, the gel thing. You're walking around. Harley's going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, like, oh, dude, self-care. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even lie. I do I do face masks. I, like, I, yeah. I'll sit in my room. My roommates are like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> like, what's that on your face? Nothing. None, none your business. <laughs> Taking care of myself. Yeah, dude. I love that. Go all the way the fuck off. Go the fuck off. And speaking of go all the way the fuck off, get your go all the way the fuck off t-shirt. And if you're watching on YouTube, you will see the t-shirt pop up right here in the middle of the screen. So, and if you're listening uh, via Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to this podcast, you know, watch this on YouTube and you will see the promo code pop up because the promo code is for the YouTube uh, viewers, you know. I got to show love to the YouTube fam too, you of know. Of course, of course. We love the people that listen via audio too, you know. We mm-hmm. love we love everybody that tunes in some way, shape, or form. But uh, yeah, get your go all the way the fuck off t-shirt. 
But uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 I definitely think that I agree. Like self care, so important. It is. It is, and it's like you don't, you don't know until you actually take a, a day or like a weekend to just do nothing, and you're like, wow, I needed, mm-hmm. I needed that day to just do nothing, do your laundry, yeah, clean your apartment. Like uh, I have a cat, so clean the Aww, li- clean yeah. the litter box, and it's like, Matt, wow, my house is clean. Like you, I, I don't know, like you shave, you shower, you're like, I'm clean. It's a little bit peaceful. You know? <laughs> Light a candle, exactly. <laughs> Throw on an episode of like New Girl or something. <laughs> yeah, I love New Girl. That's just oh, such a good show, dude. I'm on my like third watch through of New Girl right now. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that is amazing. <laughs> it, it, it's just one of those comfort shows, you know. It's like it pe- people have friends, people have. Uh, how I Met Your Mother or uh, Br- oh, Breaking Bad was, was one of my roommates uh, had one of my old roommates one of his comfort shows was Breaking Bad I'm like that sounds so stressful <laughs> <laughs> right. like, may- maybe it's comforting I I love the show but like no, that's not, that's not my comfort show <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my comfort show would have to be uh, it's 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 this uh, what is it like Love Island or whatever on Netflix. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh Love Island that that's where you get some you see the tea yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Literally. Well, see, like, uh, to circle back to theater, I feel like when, like, we have, like, cast parties and stuff, I feel like, like, am I on an episode of Love Island? Like, what is happening? <laughs> right. It, it does feel like that because people switch couples or yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, like, what? <laughs> like, is uh, the live studio audience here? Like, right. where are the cameras? <laughs> Right. <laughs> she said what? <laughs> right. Exactly. All we're missing is just like that 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 spunky witty narrator to just like to oh, like do his spiel. Totally. totally. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight you're going to see who took the most jello shots. Right. <laughs> that was me, the announcer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, but this it's good that you've been able to kind of find like that work life balance and yeah. self care. Yes, yes. Self care is so important. Mental health is so important. Check you gotta check in with yourself. Yeah. Because it's like we say it's it's rough out there. And like with COVID and everything happening, we all spent a lot of time inside. Yeah. And like we weren't able to see people. So like at least in the height of COVID for myself. I, I took it and I was like, wow, I started journaling more, started writing more like poetry and stuff. Yeah. And just kind of like, how do you take a stressful situation? And like, yeah, of course you have your friends you can talk to, but like, how do you take it upon yourself to like self-soothe in a way? Yeah. yeah in, in, a, in a healthy way, you know? For sure. Yeah. Wow, yeah. dude, that's amazing. I, I never knew that. Yeah. Wow. I, I like to write every once in a while. No, nothing like I to publish, publish or like really show out, but like, I don't know, like little lyrics and stuff. Yeah. Do you ever think about publishing any of that? Uh, maybe in the future. I just got to put more time into it. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I would, I would definitely love to see like, like, like your work and hear your work out there. If you have like whatever it is that, that you end up doing, man. Oh, well, thank you, man. Yeah, definitely. I want to find like a, like a jazz bar. Like, Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Open, open mic jazz bar. Like, Hello, welcome to this jazz evening. Yes. Your next poet is John O'Brien. I'll be like, hello, snaps, everybody. Snap, snap, snaps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go all the way the fuck off. <laughs> Go all the way the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that's the whole poem. That's right, the whole poem. That, that's the, right, that's it. <laughs> you walk up to the stage. Go all the way the fuck off. <laughs> a visionary a visionary right. <laughs> wow he's so profound <laughs> yes in the mind of the artist go all the way the fuck off <laughs> right yes yeah well, it's like, are you are you really having fun on stage unless you go all the way the fuck off exactly no. right is that right if you're not going all the way the fuck off you're not doing shit exactly exactly <laughs> that's what well, it's a, like you know when you're on stage with somebody you see they're holding back you're like stop holding back shake it out of them yeah you're like, you're like we're having fun this is supposed to be fun don't overthink it exactly exactly you know it was funny i was uh I was featured on someone else's podcast, uh, oh, yeah. and like I'm waiting for the episode to come out. I think well, who know, well by the time this episode comes out, I think this will be late January, early February. I can't okay. remember because we like we're in a time machine right now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right. What are the lottery lottery numbers? <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> So um, there's other podcasts that I was on. The uh, host was like, go on with the fuck off. Like, where did that come from? I was like, you know, because I I was like, it comes, it's kind of like a more 
hyper intensified of like I guess wording of the phrase go off. Yeah, like you know, pop like, off, go off. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I started saying it because I was just like, you know what? Like I feel like it's it's you know it's it's even way more like you know, instead of saying go off, go off, I feel like go all the way the fuck off. You know all what I mean? All the way the fuck off. There that's full send. Like, exactly. <laughs> that's the exactly. no, no regrets. Go all the way the fuck off. <laughs> exactly. And I had a guest on my show, um, Alyssa De uh, De Jesus. Um okay. and you know, um it was that episode that I started saying it because like she like we were talking about, you know, like just dating relationships, kind of like, like how we're talking about now. Yeah. And we were, we kind of like got around the topic of like, you know, like self empowerment and, mm-hmm. you know, just like really being in your element and just, yeah. just doing what makes you happy. Yo, totally. And just talking about that and the fact that she's only 23 and she's just like so well versed about what she wants in life. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, like, like the fact that you're this aware at such a young age, like go all the way. The I, I, I was like, go all. I was like, go off. In fact, go all, all the way, way the fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> so that's like, how that, that came about. <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't. I didn't know that. That's a. That's. I love that slogan. Go all the way the fuck off. I'm gonna. That's gonna be my 2024 motto. Go all the way the fuck off. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like you know mer- uh, what do you call it capitalizing and merchandising hey, it and everything. I mean, you got you got to do what you got to do, and you know what you're doing the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Of course, you. dude. <laughs> so, um, are you auditioning for any shows coming up? Uh, I'm not current. Uh, I'm doing some searching. Uh, I'm on uh, backstage. Mm-hmm. So, like, uh, I put like some applications out there. I got a few like. Self tape, uh, asking to do some like self tape callbacks. So I'm yeah. like, okay, and, like kind of just dabbling, seeing yeah. what's around. Um, I I love musicals, but I really do love like straight plays. I really want to get back into like a straight play um, mindset, you know? Absolutely. Because yeah. don't get me wrong, it's so much fun to just immediately start singing about your feelings. But it's like when you have to be play a character that you like really dive into or mm-hmm. dealing with like certain topics and stuff, and it's just. I don't know. That's the that's the meat of theater that I like to like dig dig into. Absolutely, dude. Oh, that's 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 awesome. Well, you know the, the the shows that you audition for, as far as like you know, like like in the past, I guess like are, is your scope kind of changing to sticking in the city because now you're in the city, or are you still open to doing stuff in the burbs? No, I'm still open uh, for the burbs because okay. um, so starting January, I'm starting a new job, so I'm gonna be driving less. So I'm like, you know what? Now I can actually use my car to go out and yeah. do things other than just work. Mm-hmm. So, um, no, yeah, I'm still open to going out and trying different theater companies, just seeing like where, not like my niche is, but to just see like where, where everything is going. Cause theater is different everywhere you go. Absolutely. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Well, it, it, well, that's the beauty of our art. It's different. You meet different like people from different walks of life every day. That is so true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And and even to your point earlier, how you said, like, you know, we're all doing like, like, like whenever you're doing a show, you're with these people for like three, four, even five months on end sometimes. Yeah. Especially with our last show. That was like five <laughs> something months. Dude, we basically spent almost a year together going from Rent to Beauty and the Beast. We, we exactly. spent a lot of time together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It wasn't a bad time. It wasn't a bad time. It was a good time. <laughs> Absolutely. And so, yeah, like, like, that's just so true. Like, yeah, we did end up coming across so many different people from, from so many different walks of life. Mm-hmm. And, you know, theater really does inspire. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's because it's like we, that's the beauty of being an actor. We get to, we have a chance to tell stories mm-hmm. that can inspire people. Yes. And like we can tell, tell, t- t- tell tall tales, uh, mm-hmm. be, be that classic bard. <laughs> yes. Get someone out of a funk. Like, you know, like. You know, like when you're doing a show mm-hmm. and like you're you're doing like a monologue or a song and you see you look out in the audience and you see someone's just like like awestruck and you're like, I got to you. Perfect. <laughs> you you change that person for maybe five seconds. They forgot all of their whatever drama they're going on, whatever baggage they have, you have a moment of just pure connection. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, and I think that's probably the one thing I'm so grateful for is just having theater because yeah, that was like my outlet growing up because like I'm not sure if I've ever shared this with you, but like growing up and I you know and I think you've listened like you said you listened to the episodes. I've listened to few, I've listened to episodes. Yeah, but, so my traumatic past and everything. Yeah, yeah, but like I feel you. Yeah, theater is the best outlet for it. It is. It really it is because like 
trust me, we all have our, our we all have our baggage, we all have our traumas, but it's it's the moment when we get the script or the cast list call and we're like, wait, so now I get to go and play. Mm-hmm. I get to put all the stuff that's going going on on pause for a second and go play. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Uh <laughs> And I'm just glad that like it provides spaces to like yeah create those lasting friendships even like mm-hmm. you know like meeting you dude like yeah uh, man. <laughs> having the opportunity to meet people having the opportunity to meet you it's like there's people that you meet while you're doing theater that you're like yeah that's a forever friend exactly that's that's someone I want to be around <laughs> likewise exactly man exactly go all the way to fuck off so uh, tell me like what are you looking for uh, as far as like a partner or in a relationship hmm. okay so for myself I mean I feel like because of theater it's not like I want to I want to date someone that also does theater but I want to be able to meet someone where my life complements their life and vice versa and I don't know, just someone I can like enjoy my time with or like time where I'm not in a rehearsal or not in class or at work that I can kind of like unplug and be myself with, you know? Yeah. Wow. And, and, and I, I, I echo that, man, because like, yeah, you definitely it's so important to be with somebody that like compliments like, you know, like, you know, like or, or, like like your energy, like your yeah. aura, mm-hmm. because, you know, at the end of the day. You know, like we all come from so many different backgrounds, so many different experiences, yes. environments, et cetera. But it's all about like those connections. Like, what is it that we have in common that that you know we can share and build off of, build and, off build, of. and build those foundations? Mm-hmm. So, no, I I totally agree. Yeah, and then and then it's just like you know making sure you're open to like you uh, communicating communicating openly, mm-hmm. and it's like like everyone has like past relationship drama. And it's like you just gotta be like open and honest, and trying to figure out like how to also be open and honest with yourself with a partner, you know? Absolutely. Because it's like you've been on dates where it's like you can tell someone's like they're not. It's not that they're not fucking with you, but like it's this isn't gonna go anywhere. Right. It's like uh. <laughs> it's like uh. Well, this was a nice dinner, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And like not even given timelines, but like I was uh, like on a date with somebody at some point and like, you know, um, met this person off of Hinge and, you know, the texting energy was cool and everything. Mm-hmm. But then when we got to the date, like it was just like completely different. Like this person was like, oh, hmm. Well, <laughs> I see. I get that, though, because like, I don't know, I think. I'm so much easier to talk to in person than over the, over text. Yeah. I feel like my texting energy is way different than my, my in-person energy. Ah. Uh, I, I've gotten that a couple of times. They're like, Oh, well you're, you're kind of dry. And I was like, Oh, it's just cause I overthink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's like, you're holding your phone. You overthink what you're going to say. And, but like when you're in person, you can't really overthink. You got to kind of be on your toes. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, for sure. <laughs> you can't type out a whole message in person and then delete it and be like, JK. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, it's like, no, 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 you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it's so hard trying to like, like date in general. And I feel like in Chicago, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but I feel like whenever I'm like hanging out or like visiting other cities or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, out and about and like i come across somebody like i connect with somebody just like that like like so quickly in well, other states but chicago uh, cities but chicago oh well, <laughs> chicago people are a little, are a little jaded yeah I, it's, people it's, have it's, their it, guards up exactly it's the cold weather <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it, it's yeah it's the shoulders up they're like yeah no i don't i don't, I don't talk about right feelings though no. no i'm not talking to you <laughs> feelings the, oh, oh it's even colder the shoulders, <laughs> the shoulders go even higher up. <laughs> right <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> so no yeah it, it's it's uh it's, it's interesting trying to date and I've been on like I think what is it like 175 something dates since. All right, I'm gonna see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I, I, I've seen your Google Calendar. I know. Right. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> But at least I've been able to kind of see, okay, these are the types of women that I'm like, I guess, interested in as far as, because I go for character. I don't yeah. really go for like ethnicity, race or anything like mm-hmm. that. 
And I'm just like, okay, so it's like women with these types of characteristics that I that, that, that I vibe with the most. And and then as far as like relationships, this is kind of like where it gets like like a little, a little like uh, fr- uh, crazy. But mm-hmm. I end up in like committed like monogamous relationships with women that are I guess that are still doing the work on themselves and they project onto me. And then we're arguing and it's yeah. like, <laughs> mm-hmm. and that's the thing. It's like if if your partner uh, is also trying to figure find themselves out and you're like. You want to you want to be always supportive. You want to always want right. to be like, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. But also, you're like, are you here for me? Right. And it's like, oh, but so you're projecting your your issues onto me. I, I can't. You can't go back and forth. And then you know, exactly. There's there's the the iceberg, and here's the Titanic of this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, right. Uh, we cannot both fit on this door. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And and and, and so yeah, I, I hope that whatever you know relationship that I end up in uh especially because you know I, I even in chicago I, I can't even like lock anything down because like i'm moving or whatever yeah so it's like oh, the only so sad. i'm so sad <laughs> hey, i know man same i'm gonna miss all of you i'll, I'll be back though oh, you, be- you better you better, you better. <laughs> right? we'll, we'll drag you back <laughs> right <laughs> so you can't leave us sean <laughs> one of us you, one of us. you drink the kool-aid <laughs> right exactly <laughs> you had that Malort shot. You're a Chicago one forever, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm bounded here forever. Can't can't leave. Turns out like somebody lo- like calls my employer out there, calls like like the leasing agent, like like my apartment complex out there. Sorry, Sean's not like he's he's not moving. When like someone or yeah. someone just like calls as me. Yep. Hi. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, my. You know that lease I just signed? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, trash it. I never wanted to be here. Your your facility's disgusting. Um. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a whole package like you do, like maid service and pool. That sounds great. I hate it. <laughs> Cancel that. I'm I'm staying in the city. Exactly. You, you get there. There's a picture of your face of like no entry. <laughs> right. I've been banned. Yep. And it's like sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> right. Oh darn. You're here forever, Sean. Oh, darn. Man. No. That's, no. That's gonna be a great opportunity for you. I cannot yeah. wait to see you flourish out there because, like you said, you go out. Uh, different states and like you meet people and like whenever I've gone out with you and like I don't, you just radiate this positive happy energy like you literally just smile at people and they smile back and you're like he didn't do anything he just smiled <laughs> <laughs> but it's all it's always but it's like because it's like you're such a grounded and genuine person and you're so much fun and don't get me wrong when you do karaoke you get the whole place <laughs> oh thank you starting thank to spit you some uh, pit, pit bull and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. no but so it's like you're gonna you're gonna go places you're gonna go far and i'm so i can't wait to see where you where you go where you grow and like the people you meet thank you so much man that means the world i appreciate that of course and you know and i guess like the last uh, question that i have for you is uh what do you think are uh, key qualities to building a strong and, you know, I guess like healthy relationship? Well, it's going to sound like a broken record, but communication, Mm -hmm. you have to be able to say like, Hey, this isn't working or like this, this works, but the way you do this is hurting my feelings or it's like being able to be open Mm -hmm. and, or like even having a time to be like, yeah, I'm not feeling so open right now yeah and holding that space and being able to understand like it's another person it's they're they're not they're not yours (laughs) right they're not yours to own they're not yours to own you are in a partnership and this partnership cannot work unless you're both working to not one just better yourself but also better the relationship go all the way the fuck off man i couldn't have said that any better like yeah yeah, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Not to get not to get deep for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Man, like I I wholeheartedly agree with that because it's so it's so important to like grow within oneself and you know and be able to communicate effectively with like the person that that you're mm-hmm. with, like whether it's like you know relationship, friends, family, otherwise, it's so important to do that because uh, if you don't, you know, you're only it's only going to be like more and more, I guess, like detriment to yourself in in, in the end, because people aren't going to want to associate with you. You know, you're just going to just, you know, end up alone essentially. Yeah. And and it's like, sometimes in relationships you end up burning bridges Mm -hmm. and, and it's, it sucks because like sometimes you lose like, like whole friend groups and you're like, you know, 
maybe that just wasn't where I needed to be. And so then you get kind of get another chance to start over. Absolutely. And and it's like, okay, if that if that wasn't what I wanted or what was wanted, it's it's how it goes. Right. Right. What did I say something wrong again? All right. <laughs> Harley's like, give me all the love. Give me all your love. And I will. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to start putting like a fourth camera over yeah. here to like whatever. The, the Harley cam. The Harley cam. Yes. Oh. I might do that. Like, like, uh. <laughs> you should. Oh my God. She's so cute. Yeah. Like, uh, sorry for you listeners. You can't see her, but she is just the cutest Husky. Right. Ever. Exactly. If you're, if you, you got to go to YouTube and you can see this cute Husky Harley girl. Oh, look at that. She's like, give me pets and love. Look at that. A new friend. Sorry, we're on a podcast right now. Right. Exactly. We're, 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 exactly. we're, having, we're having a moment. Right. <laughs> exactly. This is the Harley show. This is another Harley show. Do you have anything to say? Right. No. no. She's, like, she's like, can I eat that? Can I, yeah. Is that a ball? No, no, no. <laughs> Situations podcast is an open platform covering dating, relationships, mental and emotional life experiences. If you are looking to advertise your brand or product or would like to sponsor the show, send an email to situationspod at gmail.com. That's S-I-T-U-A-S-E-A-N-S-P-O-D at gmail.com. We got a listener submission, John. Are you ready to unpack this with me? I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Let's go ahead and unpack that listener submission. This listener submission uh, says, men who use this phrase, escape the matrix, who are trying to copy alleged sex offender and sex trafficker, Andrew Tate. Ooh, this is icky already. Ooh, um, alpha energy. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, so people like that uh, are a big red flag. They value his misogynistic views that women should stay virgins until marriage. Men should be allowed to cheat because it's in their DNA. What? Women belong in a kitchen. Wives, girlfriends should only speak when spoken to, etc. Stay away from men who use this phrase or similar phrases. Ooh. Wow. I feel like <laughs> I just got like teleported back to like... Well, I used to... Uh, back in my day. Back in my day, I used to go uh, work nine, my nine to five, and my wife had a dinner on at six o'clock, and if she didn't, I'd give her a good one, two. Right. Like, it's like, no. It, oh. Right. It's, it's so bad. W- <laughs> Welcome to 2023 or 2024 when you're listening. Right. Uh, times have changed. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Like... To the listener that 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 uh that submitted this, like like yeah, I, I feel you. And actually, let's go ahead and and I read like the prompt. So like the prompt right. that the listener had screenshotted, it says, "Escape the matrix and create a new one." So the guy, mm. the toxic guy that this listener is talking about, yeah, had um, put this on his dating app profile on Hinge, right. and the listener screenshot it. And so yeah, uh, for, one more time for the audience and everyone that's listening and watching. The screenshot that the that this that the toxic guy had put on his profile says, "A life goal of mine: escape the matrix and create a new one." Woo! It's like, what does that even mean, man? Right? It's, it's just like, and to me, the way I read this, I was just like, like this guy's probably saying, "Well, I don't like how things are these days, so I'm gonna like escape this reality and create my own reality where things work under the way I want them to, or old values, or whatever." Right? And it's like, okay, well you're obviously closed minded mm-hmm. and it's like in this day and age in this dating world it you have to be open to new experiences you have to be in a split in a place to be comfortably uncomfortable yes yes and it sounds like he's uncomfortable with his matrix or this current <laughs> society right he wants to make his own and it's like Okay. Right. And it's just like big uh, red flag. A little, little, little narcissism right there. Like, oh, it's not what it's not what I want. So I make my own. Like, right. Okay. Immediate swipe left. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm not taking the red or blue pill. I'm staying in <laughs> staying in the matrix. <laughs> right. Exactly. And you know, it's it's like I feel like this person, like the guy that wrote that on his pro on his uh hinge profile. I I almost feel like this guy's like an incel or just maybe he got rejected hard as fuck on a date. It was just like, you know what? Fuck all the women on these apps. Like, yeah. 
Yeah, and it's like, yeah, rejection can be hard, but like, you know, you're putting yourself out there mm -hmm. and maybe it's easier for for us like acting like we get like we don't, we will get a part or we won't get a part or whatever. So like we face rejection like all the time. Yeah. But for like any for this person that posted that, maybe he just got like rejected or like left on red. Right. And he's like now I'm the Grinch of all all <laughs> dating apps. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly like I, I and it's just like i wish i sometimes i just want to like just go to this guy and be like who hurt you yeah you need a hug <laughs> right you want to go get some coffee like get right. out of your room it smells like uh mountain Dew Baja blast and old taco bell exactly like <laughs> exactly and it's just like you know and not even to like go morbid here but i feel like it's all it almost gives off energy that this guy hates his life and it's like you know of course we don't condone suicide or self-harm mm -mm. no um you know if talk you talk to someone exactly talk to anyone absolutely uh you know and um you know if you're going through something and honestly i'm gonna like link the uh uh, uh, uh what do you call it the national suicide hotline if you see it right here on the screen mm -hmm. um if you're going through any suicidal thoughts but um you know definitely seek help or talk to a, men a mental health uh you know therapist or counselor mm -hmm. professionals yeah exactly mm -hmm. exactly like a licensed uh professional uh and and it's just like again like kind of going back to it i feel like this like maybe this guy just hates his life and that's why he's just like airing out his you know yeah. frustrations and it's like trust me like i people go like i've i've been in dark places sometimes too but like yeah you have to reach out to your friends or uh, a licensed professional and talk to someone uh, because like putting that on your dating profile, mm -hmm. I feel like isn't inviting, right? You no, know? it's like, that's an immediate shut off. Mm -hmm. And it's like, do you expect someone to swipe right, right on something that you've already closed off on? Exactly. There's, there's no growth there. There's no, there's no communication there. Right. Because the whole point of the dating app profile is to like, you know, present yourself in a certain way that makes you, I guess, quote unquote, marketable yeah. to be on that date. <laughs> Mar marketable or like <laughs> likable or whatever like, it is, yeah, whatever it is. But like, yeah, it's, it's you're, you're putting yourself out there. It's scary. But like, you know, you got to put your best foot forward. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I do hope that the, the guy that wrote this on his dating app prompt does get help that he needs it if he's if he is feeling light 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 mm -hmm. like that and a hug and a hug exactly <laughs> but it, and and the, and if it's the opposite spectrum where this guy is just toxic then you know hey i still hope he gets help the help that he needs yeah he opens his eyes to what year it is <laughs> right exactly this is 2020 fucking four get your fucking shit together literally <laughs> If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, can you do me a really quick favor? Can you please uh, rate and review this podcast? Like, like hit that five star review because, and I I do read all the reviews um, because this helps me know how this podcast is helping others and how you know this podcast is serving you because it's my job as a host is to serve you this podcast the way that you would prefer it to be. Yeah, so are you ready for, to, to do a, a quick little uh, uh, lightning round of Hinge or Unhinge? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. So this first one says, this one is from uh, Bumble, uh, and it says, I'm prioritizing, I'm prioritizing my mental health by not allowing toxic men into my life. Ha, 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 ha. Go all the way to fuck off. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like no, that. Yeah, know what you want. Know that, like, you're like, yep, nope, I know what I want. Toxicity, gone. Exactly. We stand that. We love that. So, mm -hmm. for, so, so to the listener that submitted that, we love it. Go all the way to fuck off. That's that's hinged. That's very hinged. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, all right, and and the last one here says, um, and this one is from uh, this one is a screenshot from Hinge, and this one says. The one thing you should know about me is I'm out of your league. Ooh. 
Oh no! Ah, that is unhinged that is as very, fig, as fuck. Uh, 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 very unhinged, un- unhinged as fuck. That is also a swipe left. Right. It's like you're so obsessed with yourself. No, you're it, done. <laughs> exactly. Like you know what? They just created a new category for this like like little game. It's it's like now it's unfucking hinged. Unfucking hinged. <laughs> unhinged the fuck off <laughs> <laughs> yes unhinged the fuck off <laughs> gotta stay on brand yes. <laughs> yeah like to the person that put that like you know like i'm out of your league like first and foremost why the fuck would they even put, like why, like like to the person like like that, that took the screenshot of it thank you for taking the screenshot of that and yes. submitting it uh second to the person that put that on their profile what the fuck is wrong with you why but why but like yeah but like right. but why what <laughs> What league are you in? I don't want to be a part of it. Exactly. <laughs> like, no, thank you. Like that just screams self-centered. Yeah. And and then this is the same person that would be like, well, why does anybody want to date me? Why does like people, mm-hmm. like, like mm-hmm. men are taking advantage of me or, or don't like me or say I got an attitude or whatever it is or or, or, or and ladies whoever yeah I, I don't know I don't know if it's a guy that said it or a girl that said it but all I know is the whatever person that mm-hmm. said it. Mm-hmm. Is the same person that's going to be like, why doesn't anybody want to be with me? Yeah, why? Why can't I find the one? Why right. can't? Why can't I just find that nice guy? And it's like you're not looking for that. You're obviously saying you're out of your league, right? But see, with that, like things like that, you look at it and go, "Wow, that's someone that really loves himself a little too much. A little too much. Yeah, too much. A little too much. There's no, there's no problem with self love. We we stand self love. We do. But there is sometimes there's people that push it. <laughs> exactly because it's like you shouldn't love your. I mean, you should always love yourself first and foremost. Like let's let, let's clear that out. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you shouldn't love yourself exactly. But you shouldn't do it to like a point where it's like it becomes toxic self love yes. mm-hmm. because there is a huge difference between self love and toxic self love. Yes. Because yes. toxic self love for those that are listening and watching, uh, like you know, toxic self love is the type of self love where it's, it's it's hurting other people around you because you are putting yourself and you, like like first and which you should, but you're doing it so much where it's like fuck everybody else. I don't even give a fuck about your well being. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about about your thoughts, your opinions, nothing. It's all Literally. about me. And it's like it's like I'm sorry, you're not Beyonce, you're right? Not, exactly. You're not Rihanna. You're like a, <laughs> even they. I don't think they would right. even say that. Like, right. It's like, Calm down. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Calm all the way the fuck down. <laughs> Calm exactly. <Yeah. laughs> yes. Yes. So yeah, I I hope that um you know what'd be funny though? What if like the person that submitted that um I'm out of your league ends up dating the person that says I need to escape this uh, matrix? Those those are the ones that always end up together though, right? right? Those are the ones that end up together because because that person is so into themselves that that is their whole that is the new matrix that yeah he is the enter that he or they entered that new matrix yeah so yeah that's those are the people that always end, end up together yeah <laughs> oh god like I, ima- <laughs> I can only imagine what that love story would look like <laughs> i oh I, I was on her instagram and right. i just kept liking all of her photos <laughs> right and it's like yikes okay dude Ooh. and it's like this guy uh he just liked all my photos and hit my dms and Thank you so much to the listeners for submitting your prompts and your stories and yeah just being vulnerable and sharing your thoughts and questions and you know uh, uh with the pie like like with the pie like like we appreciate it mm-hmm. john appreciates your I vulnerability appreciate it a lot yeah, yeah like i appreciate it and you know um i just want to say like if you are going through anything like i said you know definitely reach out to a mental a licensed mental health counselor mm-hmm. uh or you know a psychiatrist like whatever uh you know professional that fits your needs uh yeah. first and foremost be careful out there dating because, you know, there are some unhinged people on these apps. There are some very unhinged people on these apps. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just stay safe. And, uh, you know, I, I, wa- I want to hear about your dating stories. Like, like definitely submit it to situationspodcast.com slash submit. And if you are, and if you have any icks, if you're out on a date 
and someone is, you know, being unhinged. I mean, mm-hmm. you've heard about I- icky date icky stories. Dates. Yes. <laughs> if you got an ick, send it to situationspodcast.com slash ick, I-C-K. And yeah, <laughs> right? I know, right? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. No, you're, you're, you're like, I'm just remembering so many uh, different people telling me different icks and it's like. Yeah, yeah, those are real. Yeah. Right, <laughs> exactly. So, hey, the next time you got like an ick dude, submit it to the show because it's anonymous. That's, I won't even that's know. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. <laughs> and, to, <laughs> right, and to anyone that's brand new to this, uh, to the show, uh, because I, I, I realized that every time there's an episode, there's a new listener coming on. So I, I appreciate y'all that reached out and, you know, let me know that you're a new listener. But anyway, um, yeah, I just want to say, you know, um, the submission forms that you submit to it's anonymous i don't know who submitted what because it doesn't ask for a name or email address Mm -hmm. none of that shit yeah it just says tell us your ick or tell us your situation and then you know you just hit submit so that's that's honestly the best way to do it right (laughs) that's the best way to do it (laughs) exactly (laughs) well because like also if it's like a it's a if a a saucy story Mm -hmm. do you really want to know who it is i mean right it's like i'd rather not i'd rather not i'd rather be able to talk about it openly Exactly on the podcast. <laughs> exactly right. Because if it's like if it's like if it's like if it's like I know it's it's my friend Sally or whatever. I'm yeah. like shit. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. You're like oh man. I'm just it's like I'm just kicking kicking this story till it's uh, all the way bled dry. Right. And it's like geez. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, you know we like to keep it anonymous around here. Um, and yeah, also a, a quick little tidbit. We just surpassed 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> right. And I know, everyone, wow. I know, right? I know, right? And that's a lot for a podcast that just started out yeah. that has no promotion. That's just word of mouth or whatever. Like, I, <laughs> hey, you've put the work into it. You deserve it. So it's right. like, this is awesome. To, the, yeah. to your viewers, to your subscribers, to your listeners. Yeah. Keep listening. Sean is such a genuine person, and he's not going to put you guys on to some bullshit. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. Of course. And even to like those out there on YouTube that got like millions of subscribers, like I know 1,000 isn't a lot, whatever, but to me, that's a huge deal. And to like our small community of listeners, I think it's about uh, three, 4,000 listeners that I got okay. so far. So it's like a little army. Th- that, yeah, you have, <laughs> you have a little Sean army. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Go all the way the fuck off army. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> no, it's still, a 1,000 is still a great milestone. That's, yeah. That is a that is a great start to where you're going. Yeah, exactly. I can't wait to hear when it's like one million subscribers. Ooh, you'll get yes, there. you'll get there. Put it in out into the into yes, the universe. Yes, I am manifesting one million subscribers for situations. Yes, <laughs> yes. And like one day, one day, I hope that I can, uh, you know, do like a live show of, of the podcast oh, and yeah. have you and like all like all of like my guests that all my day one guests. Oh hell yeah, that would be so much fun. Yeah, just unpacking shit like yeah. like like in front of like hundreds of people and yes. like yeah, just having fun. On stage just doing this doing, on live doing a, stage. doing a huge uh hinge unhinged yes <laughs> and like we just have the audience hinged or unhinged Unhinged. exactly <laughs> exactly so we're gonna manifest that yes sir yes sir <laughs> awesome and uh yeah and speaking of which john thank you so much for coming on to the show of course man thank you for having me out I, I you told me about it and i was like you know what this is gonna be fun yeah I've never, I've, this is my first podcast and i was like you know what what a better person to start one with or not well be yeah. on one with is with Sean. Oh dude that 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 bre- that that literally warms my heart. And like as I tell my listeners and if you have you heard me say before in past episodes drip 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 submit 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 submit, it's, submit, it, submit. and it's a drop of love on my heart because like the drip 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 so dude yes, that's sir. a drop of love on my heart just hearing <laughs> that man. Thanks. Of course. Yeah. And like, and yeah, and you know, and again, y'all, we are in a time machine. So like I said, like, you know, like this is a thousand subscribers today. So who knows what it'll be like when this episode comes out? It might be, it might be. 2,000, 3,000. Right? Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say 1,200, but okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Push limit. Don't right. set the bar that low. Set it high. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, uh, can you tell us uh, uh, like, like how can listeners and, and, and people that are like tuning into the show, how can they keep up with you? Like, do you have any Instagram, like uh, our websites, anything you want to share with us? Uh, all I have right now is r- uh, really Instagram. I'm I'm still getting back into like uh, social media and stuff, uh, just kind of like putting myself out there. So yeah, uh, you can find my uh, Instagram. I th- think it's uh, hold on, let me look at it real quick. Yeah, my Instagram is J underscore O'Brien ninety six. All right, 
And if you're watching YouTube, you will see his Instagram handle pop up on the screen. Like you just saw it pop up. So yeah. Right? It's like right, right here. Right there. <laughs> it's actually like up here. Exactly. He's <laughs> right. like, what's he doing? Right. <laughs> I had a guest on uh, uh like, like uh, uh literally on Thanksgiving Day, I had a guest. Oh wow. Right? Like that's cause like she had flew in from uh California. Okay. Uh because she was doing a show. Like mm-hmm. she was she's a, a, a comedian or whatever, like on tour. Okay. But anyway, um long to make a very long story short. When I was talking, when I was like saying, "Oh, you know, like this is gonna pop up on the screen right here for the YouTube watch uh, yeah. uh, of viewers," she was like, she, "Dude, she was like fucking, like, like, like fucking with this weather." She was like, yeah. "Here, here, here." <laughs> I was like, "Shit, now I gotta like move it yeah, up here, yeah. move now, it." Here. You're like, you're making editing so much harder, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And uh yeah, so there are three ways that you can submit to the podcast. Situationspodcast.com slash submit. You can call the hotline 312-586-2664 and leave a voicemail submission. And uh it also if you want or if you want to leave an email, situationspod at gmail.com. So yeah, I really appreciate it. John appreciates it. I do. Like, do. like, yeah, like, like we, we love to hear your stories, questions and all that stuff. Like this was, this was a really great this Jordan a, episode. This was a good Jordan episode. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> this this was so much fun. I'm like, man, I haven't hung out with you. I went on one too much before. And this is great. This is, we, we're, we're going to hit the city before you leave. Absolutely, fucking Luli, man. Uh, we're going to go all the way. The fuck off. Yes, <laughs> yes, Dude, <sir>. yes. Let's, <laughs> Let's fucking go. Well, with that, I will see you all back here for the next episode in a couple of weeks. Woo! See ya. <laughs>